Ephesians 4 and 29. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouth, but only such is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. He said, let no corrupt communication. And corrupt communication, yes, it's cursing, but it's, it's also gossiping, it's lying, it's slandering, it's fault-finding. Don't let that come out of your mouth, she said. But only such as building up. Building up Jesus. Talk about Jesus. When they start lying and they start gossiping, you switch the subject. You, you put it on Jesus. Why? Because it's going to build up. It's going to build up the faith in others. So if somebody, somebody comes at you lying and gossiping about somebody, you don't, you don't get in that conversation with them. You, you take the conversation, you focus on Jesus. Because in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 5, he said, Let no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, out of character, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Let thanksgiving come out of your mouth. No crude jokes, no filthy jokes, no dirty talking, because it's not in your character. In Titus chapter 3, verses 9, it said, avoid foolish controversies. You know, or that it could be like um, arguments. Avoid foolish arguments, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law. You know, somebody want to come and argue with you about the Bible? Avoid that. For they are unprofitable and worthless. It's not worth your time. And if they want to come argue with you something that's trivial, that doesn't mean nothing anyway, just walk away from them. It's not worth it. 